Okay, well hi everyone. Just a quick video here showing you a basic prototype of my change machine. So what we're using is a CH936 coin acceptor, which has been programmed to accept two P's, tens, fives, 20 P's, one pound coins and 50 P's. Now, initially I was using the pulse output interface, uh, which is a single pin, which will send a pulse to the Arduino when it detects that a coin's been uh, entered. Now, the amount of pulses will depend on how you've programmed the machine. Um, however, I was finding with the code I was using, it wasn't actually that reliable. Um, so what I've actually done is, you'll notice here there are six LEDs on the coin acceptor on this model itself. Not all of them have this, but this particular one does. So what I've actually done is wired each coin to an LED and you'll find that when a coin goes in it flashes the relevant LED on the side here and that will initially send a single pulse on that line. Now I found that that's a lot more reliable than using a single interrupt on the Arduino. Uh, so you'll notice each of those lines goes into a pin on the Arduino Uno here uh, and I'm actually using uh, software interrupts on this rather than the hardware interrupts uh, and I'm finding that this is a lot more reliable uh, and I don't get any misread pulses and sort of misread coins coming out of the hopper here. I'm using an Asahi Seiko SA595 hopper here which has been set up for two pence pieces in the UK. So the idea is that obviously when you put the relevant coin in, it will dispense the appropriate amount of change in two pence pieces. Uh, so I'll show you the whole thing from the start. So if I start up now, you'll see when the machine initializes, it gives this display here and it goes through a few checks to make sure that everything is functioning. And then it comes up with the main message, insert coins for two pence change. So to start with, I'll put in a standard two pence piece. You'll see on the serial monitor as well, it's saying that it's ready. So 10 pence coin will go in. So we're expecting five 2p pieces to come out of the hopper. So when it goes in, it was counting down how many coins were left to pay out and if we do a count to make sure we've got two four, six eight ten ten two p pieces so that is oops that is correct which is always a good thing when it gets it right so i'll put those back in the hopper and on the display here you'll see that when the coin goes in it comes up with a binary coin flag, and that's how it's telling what coin has gone in. So in this case, it's found coin kind number three, and it says 10p coin has been inserted. And then you'll see it detects the hopper pulses on a separate interrupt, and it counts the appropriate number. And when it's complete, it will say it has completed. So just to check our theory, what we'll do now is put in a 20p piece. So we should expect 10 2p coins. And I'll show you the display this time to show it counting down. So it says 2p inserted and it's counting down the appropriate amount of coins. And we should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And there we go, it's got that correct. So just to carry on the theme, got a 50p piece now. So again, we should be expecting 25 2p pieces on this one. So as that goes in, I'll show you the wide angle view of it paying out. Okay. 
10 out, we should have 50 pence of two peas here. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. And that is correct. Now I've got exactly one pound in this hopper at the moment. So the last coin I've put in is the one pound. So it should literally pay them all out when I put the pound coin in. So you'll see that going now. One pound coin inserted. Counting down from 50 to zero. And you see on the display as well, it's counting down the hopper pulses and the amount it's got to pay out. And there we go. So there should be 50. Oh, I know why, because I'll put one in there. So we should have a pound's worth of two peas. So two, four. As you can see, it's all working correctly and as it should. Now, I had a few leftover coins. Now, obviously, if you put a two pence coin in, all it's going to do is chuck out a 2p. <laughs> Pointless, but that's just the way I program the machine there. Okay. Uh, I've also got a 5p piece. Now, of course, we can only dispense up to five. I haven't got any 1p pieces. So if you put a 5p in, it's going to kick out four pence. So the house wins on that occasion, but that is how it is working. And you can pick these coin hoppers up quite cheaply from eBay. Uh, I think I've got this one for about 20 something pounds. Uh, it does officially run on 24 volts, but what I was finding um, was it's quite sensitive on detecting coins. And when you whack it up to 24 volts, uh, it becomes a little inaccurate um, in counting the coins. So it will operate at lower voltages, and I've put it down to nine uh, on this particular occasion, and that seems the most reliable voltage to detect the correct amount of coins as it comes out. It doesn't really affect the speed of the power too much. Uh, in fact, I find it seems to work better doing it that way. Um, so yeah, that's that. As you can see, I'm using an Arduino Uno here. I've wired the display up uh, on a separate board here just to make it a bit neater. Um, and then that goes into the standard pins, which I've set up in the code on the Arduino Uno there. Obviously, I've set up the software interrupts from pins A0 to A5 on this one. And as I said, the coin acceptor worked before with my original code, but I was finding it really inaccurate. And it was just kicking out coins sometimes for no reason. Um, so I've done it this way by using those LEDs, as I said, which has really been handy um, to make it a lot more accurate. Every so often, this particular coin acceptor, for some reason, will go through a sequence where all the LEDs flash very briefly. Um, so in the code, I've written, um, using millis, um, a little delay there to ignore anything under 100 milliseconds on the pulse line. Um, on the pulse lines, I should say. Uh, so again, that makes it a lot more accurate. And it's rock solid. It, it will not kick out coins now until you actually put an appropriate coin in for change. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. Seems to be working really well. Um, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout. Um, and if you need the code, um, I'd be happy to provide that for a small fee. Um, so yeah, just any questions, let me know. Um, there are many stages I went through on this project to get to this point. 
um, and it has been a bit of a, a labour of love really in terms of getting everything set up and working as I'd like but I think we finally cracked it um, so I'm really happy with that ultimately what this machine is going to go into is uh, a 2p penny pusher machine so my children will be able to get uh, their pocket money put some coins in for change and play the 2p pusher so this is part of a bigger project which I will show you in due course on here um, but yeah yeah I did originally try um, this code on a, an Arduino Mega but I was having real trouble with the software interrupts on there uh, it's not quite as easy to set up I found as the Uno is um, so I've done that and it seems to work really well um, I've been using parts uh, obviously that's the Uno and I've been using parts from this Elgu uh, complete starter kit which is really good really good value from Amazon actually um, so if you haven't got one I'd advise you checking that out uh, and similarly I got a coin acceptor from Amazon as well uh, so yeah any questions just give me a shout cheers for watching